representing Waynesbury, wearing the gold number one shorts, Ryan Wall, and one trip, Lee Thornley! one have a Christmas break and then get it done get the, get the job done for the next fight any challenging moments I thought in the last round he moved a couple of shots but apart from that I thought I won the fight quite easily first two rounds so when's your next fight coming up hopefully January end of January in Portsmouth Fab, but well, good luck for that on behalf yeah. of Pete Jackson promotions well yes. done on your win Field. Les, how do you feel? Great. Um, it was a good fight. Uh, I made it quite hard for myself, really. I think I, I could have finished him, but uh, I was just being sensible. But Giving the punters a fight? Yeah, definitely. I, I got a rematch with Kerry. I'm looking forward to it because I boxed terrible a month ago. Um, never used my jab once, where tonight my jab set everything up for me, so it goes to show how important the jab is. I think he'll be in for a shock next time because I'll be a totally different fighter, so I'm really looking forward to it. And you're reclaiming the title for that, I believe, aren't you? Yeah, yep, definitely. He'll be back. Hi, I'm Kerry Evans, new BBU featherweight champion. Won the belt in the last show against Les Byfield. Um, I'm here today to pick the belt up because they didn't have it last time. Um, coming here to watch Les today, see what he's 
he's got in the bag for the next show, the rematch in February. Joe, what a win. Yeah, it's great. I feel great to do. I mean, you know, 40 years old, got a belt on my shoulder. Yeah, so I feel great. I really do. And there seemed to be a lot of head punches going, being re received and delivered. How did that feel? Yeah, it's great. I mean, you know, swap, swapping the punches. But um, like I said, I've, been, I, um, I've done something to my right hand again. All I could do was use the jab and then apparently it works. I think I'm going to defend it and then I'm finished. I mean, I'm, I've done what I need to do now in this. I'm just, I don't know, I'm 40 years old, I'll be 41 next year. So I think I've done my bit. I've got to say a big thank you to Roy Skeldin. I'll tell you what, the pads he gives me down the gym and the best in the world ever I've ever had. So if you get yourself down to Roy Skeldin's gym in Dudley, Get down there, get fit, get boxing. Hi, I have with me Kevin Bailey. Kevin, how do you feel? Yeah, I feel good. Um, I've hurt my shoulder, but no excuses. It looked quite a tough fight. There was a lot of, I said to Joe, there was a lot of um, headshots being delivered and received. Yeah, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Boxing, pain, that's what it's all about. <laughs> How's your nose? Yeah, it's okay. A bit bloody, but it's nothing nicer. I mean, I'm Daniel Pete's brother. I'm here today just to support a few of the other boxers. I've come to most of his shows and I'm fighting on the February show that Pete's fighting on as well and it's going to be Pete's last fight so I wasn't going to fight on it originally but I am now and I'm going to make it my last fight as well so it'll be a good night and I'm looking forward to it, hard training so I'm on the pop. Nelson and John Doody. Chris, how are you feeling? Yeah, sound. Feeling good, yeah. John, how about you? They see it coming, fair, fair enough. You catch it a shot today, you see it. Okay, for a corner, for a corner, boom. I don't even know where I fucking was, fair play, so lad. When's the rematch? When's the rematch? Whatever, mate. You set a date, mate. I love it. Any time. So you've heard it here first. There's going to be a rematch, guys. <laughs>
Brett Smith, my man. How are you feeling? All right. All right. I'm fine. I don't think I was that fit for a matter of fact. I know. That looked exhausting just watching you. Yeah, was, yeah. But saying that, I was impressed with which how fit I was, to tell you the truth. I don't think I was that fit at all. And it was nice to fight Danny. It was, looked like a good challenge. Yeah, it was a good challenge. I'd like to fight him again, actually. But Another rematch. He knew I had a bit of power. I think that's why he boxed the way he did, the way he, the way he moved and this, that, the other. But that's gone now. The one I want more than anything is this Dexter Hastings. How are you feeling for that one in February? I'm going to try it hard, very hard for that. So we've got Rob Doody here, Rob. Have you enjoyed the evening? Yeah, it's been a great night of boxing. Pete shows always are, to be fair, though. He's, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm professional at the minute, but in about 18 months, I'm making a switch over to come and take over this, this business. And, you know. and what kind of things have you got coming up? Well, um, my last fight was a British Masters title, and I've got another British Masters in the Midlands area early next year. And then I'm going to make the switch to Pete and, you know, show me how you do it properly. Taylor, lads, what a fight. It was a good fight, really good. Really I definitely paid to see that again. <laughs> yeah, but it was exciting. Now that's not a Welsh accent, is it? No, it's not a Welsh accent, no, from Birkenhead in, <laughs> on a will. I took a good shot and uh, it started to close up, but uh, I think what it was, I got a bit excited. Once uh, once I saw the knockdown, I got a bit, uh, a bit anxious and went for a quick finish. Lucky shot or planned? No, I don't think it was a lucky shot, but it, it caught me on the side of the temple, so it just dazed me for a bit. I think it had been on the jaw, it might have been all over the other way, so yeah. Yeah, I suppose it was lucky for me that, that it hit me on the temple and not the jaw, you know. Yeah. But uh, I managed to compose myself and uh, managed to get one back in. I seen his eye cl close over and I don't think he could see the shots then. He definitely created a great atmosphere in there. So, lads, when's the rematch? February will be in well, fingers crossed. Excellent. At the venue. Yep, and you'll be defending the title? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, look forward to it. Excellent. Hi, I'm Anthony Bromley, uh, representing Black Country Boxing. Currently the uh, BBU Midweight Champion. Looking forward to fighting Steve Bummer, uh, ex-professional in February 26. Should be a great show. Hello, Steve. Thank you for your time. We have here Steve Brumont, an ex-professional fighter, and he'll be fighting at the venue in Dudley on Saturday 26. And how are you feeling about the fight? Oh, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it, yeah. And when was your last fight? Um, I boxed on the 24th of October. How did you get on? Uh, beat him up, yeah, to be fair. Yeah, beat him up proper. Yeah, over five rounds it was. Five rounds, so you've got the energy then? Oh yeah, plenty of stamina. Oh yeah, plenty of fitness, yeah. yeah. And what kind of things have you been doing to reach that peak physical fitness? Oh, well, you know, just training three, four times a day. Um, training the children at the local amateur gym as well. Loads of running, loads of football. Yeah, man, keep my fitness up, yeah, all the time. And how you feeling about February? Nervous? Excited? No, nah, I'm never nervous. Just excited to beat someone up again, yeah. 
brilliant. Thank you for your time, Steve. Best of luck on behalf of Pete Jackson Promotions, and I'll see you on the 26th.